man, a lot was going through my head, you know. It was amazing to be here, never being here before. Arriving in Rome, just a weird feeling. I mean, having to go through customs, a lot of things you're not used to doing. There's a lot of excitement, though, just getting ready to, to see, see Italy. I really couldn't tell anything different yet, like every other airport. The first thing that really hit you was the heat. It's like a dry heat. I know hot, but this is hot. Like, Florida's hot, don't get me wrong, but this, this is hot. We get on the bus, we're all excited, we're taking pictures of everything we see. We went to the hotel, we checked in the hotel. The rooms were crazy. The beds are like as close, as small. We have me and Vince in the same room, two seven-footers. I don't know who planned that. We get to the hotel, we check in. You know, we, we pretty much instantly start to walk around. We hit the Trevi Fountain, the Pantheon, the Spanish Steps, uh, the Piazza Navona. Down there, a lot of stuff going on. The walking was like a marathon. I didn't think we were gonna ever stop. It feels like we walk like six miles a day, it's crazy. But it's, it's a beautiful place. You really learn how to appreciate, especially art in, in this city. It's like they really appreciate what, what has been left behind for them. So you can turn one corner and see one monument, spend a little bit of time there, five minutes later you run into another one. The Pantheon, um, that was pretty hard to pronounce <laughs> for me the first time. That was very cool, it was um, made 1900 years ago and just to see it in tip top shape was amazing. It's just unreal to think they built that with no modern equipment, nothing like that and it's lasted so long. Like it's such a huge monument, like, the dome shape, like how they did that without cranes and all this crazy stuff that we have today. It's really amazing and they did it in, they think he said eight years. Day two is Coliseum Day. That was unbelievable. I mean, I've studied it in school, seen it in Gladiator movies. But to see it in person, like, I don't know, it just has a feel to it. This is unbelievable. This is like a, these are one, you gotta see for yourself. Words can describe this. This is unreal. Coliseum kind of scared me. Because I've seen Gladiator and it's like, oh, a cool movie. But then when, you, when I actually got to the Coliseum in, in person, it was just like looking around, taking in what events really took place here. And the, the, the killings and the, all for entertainment. We play basketball for fun. At the end of the day, nobody usually gets hurt. It's for enjoyment, but there people died for other people's enjoyment. We had a fun time with the vendors trying to negotiate prices. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these guys, I haven't seen them work as hard in practice, and they're trying to get these prices down. I mean, sunglasses and bags and walls and belts. Oh, you give me two pair for five euros. And he's like, no, 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 no. And I was just like, okay, take it or leave it. And I was walking off. He's like, okay, my friend, come back. And just keep, give them as low as you can. Then you do the pretend walk away. And then you see if they give you another price. So I got what I wanted, two pair for $7. When he really wanted to charge me one for seven, I like to win. We showed up at this little box in the middle of nowhere nothing around and I thought we were lost but he said this is the gym. We don't know what to expect, the competition we're going to play against, we had no idea, the new rules make us even more nervous. I was so excited I was just like don't psych yourself out, you don't want to go out there and mess up. Don't miss the first shot you take. It was a lot of adrenaline that, when that ball went up. I mean, while Kim jumped ball, I don't think I've seen anybody get off the floor so fast. The chemistry was there, and you couldn't tell that this was the first time we had two transfers, three freshmen, like everything just went so smooth.
I was shocked to see us click so quickly against the opponent. We were fast out there. It should have been the adrenaline and the energy, but we were flying up and down. We shared the ball really well, passing, cutting. This new group is special. Like, I say that we're lap, they're really special. As long as we continue to be a family, I mean, anything's possible. They want to get in for a group picture. Um, so we got in there, and probably one of the kids on our team started it. That would probably be my guess. Come on, picture, y'all. Picture, come on. It was a fun thing, you know, to come together, both teams from different countries, and, and be able to have that moment was, was special. Day three was the Vatican, which was very exciting. I was excited to go there, the uh, center of the Catholic religion. Flooded. People everywhere. Like you can tell that it's something special about the Vatican compared to other places that we went to. Everyone wanted to be in the Vatican. If you'd have told me this about 10 years ago, you'd be able to go to the Vatican. I wouldn't believe it. Until you go in and you see the Sistine Chapel or you go through St. Peter's Basilica, the pictures don't do it justice. It's just. The size is remarkable, like the, the sculptures are, are unbelievable. Like you have to experience it for yourself in order to really know what it's like. Until you see it up close and personal and how the work is was really done, then you really learn to appreciate it. Like it, it was just a, a big shocker for me. When we first got in though, it was a little bit me and Vince had a little experience. We were standing there waiting. And there's this group behind us, I noticed they kept trying to get my attention and take a picture. So I was kind of trying to avoid it just to get the tour going, but they did catch my attention, asked me for one picture. One picture turned into about 30 to 40 pictures of a big group of people. And then Vince got up, so it was even more. And it was, it was, it was fun. I mean, it made me feel, feel like I'm famous. So that felt nice. Look at this, Mom. I might get this. It's all here. I have got the rosary beads for my mom. My mom made sure, as the last thing told me about getting a plan, I love you, make sure you get my rosary beads. Getting them at St. Peter's, it's, it's, I feel like this, these beads are going to be blessed. Like, for me, give to my mom, it's something special to me, and, and that's why I got them. Visiting the rooms of St. Ignatius was the most interesting thing I probably went to so far because just, you know, when you're at a Jesuit high school and you hear about the St. Ignatius story a lot, and you know, you pay attention and you forget, but actually seeing his writings, um, actually seeing when he died was amazing. And these are the letters that they sent to each other because that's the only way you can communicate with them. It was simple. Nothing flashy. He made all that, everything he'd done for everyone out of just that run room. And he didn't ask for more than what he needed. It just made me think back about everything he did. And while, you know, a lot of us get to go to colleges like Fairfield University or high schools like we go to, you know, and the ideals he had, and it's just how lucky we were to have a guy who was so selfless and, you know, give up everything and to have this idea of, being, being for others. This guy gave everything he had, all his money away, and started from ground up again. And he just, he done something for us. 
that no one can describe. Me, Derek, and Jamel, we really talked about how um, we thought it wasn't going to be a good experience, but it ended up being real interesting to us because, you know, we just, it made us grateful because, you know, he just was responsible for so much. Everything all together is just unbelievable. You gotta take it in, one time experience thing. We're enjoying it. We got a lot of footage so we remember it, but it's just to be having a great time. We keep it going, we can see how many influence.